to six, a helping hand with your land. Good morning, all. Uh, we're returning here from the Kubota dealer meeting. Uh, good to get together and see people again in 2021. Um, as you probably would guess, this is a, a light year going into 2022 for new product. Um, just with all the production headwinds that all these manufacturers have been seeing, there's not a ton of new products that we're going to be seeing next year. There are, however, some that are very cool. Um, this is going to be Kubota's 50th anniversary in the United States, and for that reason, there's a series here of um, kind of existing models that are a little bit more special than usual in order to celebrate that anniversary, and some of those I think are really cool and eye-catching. So I'm going to go run through the list here of new stuff that we have to share for this year uh, and show you a couple of the pictures that I took and uh, things that we were able to enjoy at the meeting. So we're going to start out here with the RTVs. Uh, with the RTVs, there's going to be some of these 50th limited anniversary models. Pretty limited production of them, but you're going to see they're pretty cool. So the Sidekick is going to come out in a Desert Sand Edition. It's going to be a unique color that's only offered here for a limited period of time. And that machine is going to show up at dealerships built out the way that you see here. So it's going to have the winch on the front and the windshield and the roof and the LED lights and side mirrors and a headliner up in the top of the, the roof. Uh, really kind of, of tricked out. Um, this stuff is going to come through pre-installed and you're going to find the pricing of this thing is uh, pretty attractive here given all the accessories and everything that are involved. These are a limited quantity. They're only going to be coming in at one per dealership location. And that will be the end of it. Um, along the same lines here, there's another variation of the RTVs. That's going to be this 1120 diesel model with the hydrostat transmission with this flatbed on the rear. Uh, we've been asking for flatbed variations of these things for a long time. This is going to be one coming through in limited quantities. The thing that I liked about this was the side rails that are around that flatbed that still kind of allow you to use this as a regular bed. Um, and if you look there closely, they're kind of pinned together and stuff on the back that you'd be able to remove the back rail and stuff there if you wanted to. So kind of a neat setup. Uh, I think really sharp looking. It's a nice design. Would be cool to see this make its way into the regular product line at some point. This is going to be coming through at one per dealership complex. So all of Messick's, in our case, is going to have one of these things to sell. Along the same lines of that highly limited, very exclusive tractor is this awesome L6060. Um, pictures of this thing don't quite do it justice. It's going to come through with a Lamprey quick hitch on the rear, the grayed out loader and grayed out wheels, and then the hood and fenders and everything are done in a really dark, pearlescent orange. It's a really sharp looking tractor. Um, these are going to be also one per dealership complex tractor. Um, I'll tell you, I don't intend to sell ours. We'll probably go and black out the windows or something and take it around to shows and fairs and display it in our showrooms and stuff here for a while, being that it's available in such limited quantity. Um, certainly we'll probably sell it someday, uh, but one that I plan to hang on to and show off here for a little while. So very cool tractor. I, this stuff I wish we would see more of from these companies. Um, just the, the cool variations of these things I think are really desirable. Um, and, and there's a market for them, for sure. So um, staying in that 50th anniversary, there's going to be a little bit of, of packaging done with a couple of other models. So the KX057-5 to have a, a anniversary edition of that excavator. They're going to take a couple of the existing models, throw a little badge on the side, and then include some standard features. So in this case, the backup camera and that kind of stuff are going to come through as standard equipment at no cost to you for this 50th anniversary model. So you're gonna see that happen with those and also with the new standard L that we're gonna talk about here shortly um, of some limited runs going through and packaging some quick hitches and standard features with that tractor for those 50th anniversary models. So if you see one of those floating around a dealer's lot, they're gonna be desirable machines. They're gonna have some features and stuff, optional accessories with them at very low to no cost and uh, should be cool desirable machines. But again, available in very limited quantity. There are two uh, real models for next year that are actually going to be new, um, new and improved. So the, the standard L, what will be today's 3301, 3901, 
are being upgraded to now a 3302 and 3902, right? Incrementing that last digit on the model number to show that we're coming out with something new. Um, this is not a radically different tractor. The underpinnings of it are still the same, but there's a lot of comfort stuff that's kind of being upgraded on this machine and styling that makes it look a lot more modern. So it's kind of getting family styling now. So it's uh, got more curved hoods, LED headlights. So it looks more like a family product at this point. The other one was its appearance was starting to age a little bit and not really fit in with a lot of the other tractors. Um, LED lights are included both in the headlights and all the work light packages and everything are upgraded to LED now as well. The handles on the knobs are all getting new grips. You would see these on the BX series currently, so that's carrying up into the new models. This is, the seat itself, I've been saying for a long time, Kubota needs to spend every dollar they can on putting co better quality seats on some of these tractors. That's happening here, so it's going to be an improved seat with better suspension underneath of it. The current series does not have rubber floor mats on it being an economy series tractor. However, the new one will. So there's going to be rubber floor mats that are going to be available. If you have an older L, L standard L series tractor, I would guess you're probably going to be able to order those floor mats out of the parts system and probably fit them up to your older machine. Don't know that for sure, but the floor plans to me look the same. So I'll do some research into that when these things start showing up and tell you if that's going to fit. Um, they're... Moving the location of the engagement for the PTO, the current tractor has it almost behind you. Um, it's to the right-hand side of your seat and almost back a little bit. It's not the easiest thing to hit. The new one uses the bump-on uh, or bump-off PTO knobs that we see on most tractors now, but more towards the front right-hand side there on the fender, so it's in a lot more convenient location. The size of the bucket is also being upgraded on these. I spent a lot of time actually on one of these tractors here, and it, it's very clear the loader is capable of a lot more, moving a lot more than the size of the bucket is allowing you to do. So these are picking up buckets now that have a little bit different geometry, and I'm looking at it thinking it's a little bit higher capacity as well. So that's a positive. You're going to notice there's a new fuel water separator on here. Uh, the older one would have used a, a fuel bowl. This is a much more substantial element. I really like these two because it's very easy to see fuel issues. So many problems that we see with tractors are caused by fuel. Being able to clearly see if you have an algae problem or a water line or something developing in the fuel bowl here helps from that maintenance perspective. So I think that's a real positive to see that. Also, you're going to notice on the front of that tractor a gray brush guard. Uh, Kubota is obviously paying attention. I was surprised by this a little bit, actually. Um, there's a lot of companies popping up making brush guards for these tractors now on the aftermarket. Um, I was actually working on one myself. We were going through uh, working with a local fab shop here, starting to put some of these designs together. And here, lo and behold, some of these new models now Kubota's coming out and offering brush guards for, which is neat. Um, the one, two things about this that I like, you have that guard on the front, but they're also adding some wings back the sides to catch a stick or something that might be coming in towards the side of the guard. Um, these are definitely going to be easier to install than the current ones are because the holes and everything are going to pre be pre-drilled into the grill guard in order to bolt these things into place. And because of the economies of scale that kind of come from having Kubota build you know, thousands of these things, they're going to be about half the price that you're paying for the aftermarket options today. So very cool. I think we're going to see a really high take rate on putting those onto the front of the tractors. They look great and they're definitely priced right. So that's cool. Continuing on, there's uh, some pretty minor changes that are being made to the K008, but then one kind of interesting iteration of it here as well. The machine itself is moving on to a Dash 5, just like all the other excavators are. It, it's taking that incremental step here that we're seeing through the rest of the product family. There's very few changes that are going to happen actually to the machine itself here. It's the same kind of LED light changes, and in this case, a better seat. Um, other than that, the underpinnings of the machine itself are basically the same thing. However, there's a new model U10 that is essentially the K008, but set up now with pilot controls instead of the mechanical valves that are on the older one. Um, still sitting on that same boom, same frame platform. So this is a really nice upgrade to this machine. Um, pilot operated controls are something that we often bump into 
uh, when we're talking to existing operators and that kind of stuff that are used to the function and movement and sensitivity of machines that you get out of this style of controls, the the more ones that come right off the valve body like a, a traditional backhoe or something would be just don't operate quite as nicely as what these do. So it's a really nice feature to be able to offer on this really small class machine. You know, not a big seller, not thousands and thousands of those things out there, but uh, we put a lot of them in the rental yards. We run a lot of them ourselves. Um, and from what I was seeing on the costing side, this is not a dramatically more expensive configuration, which surprised me for all the additional valving and everything that has to be done here. Um, it is a maybe 10% bump in the cost of the machine or so, uh, which is not huge considering the value that those controls bring. So all told, uh, that is really about the sum total of what there was this year. Um, not, not a whole lot, but you know, given... Given the challenges that this year has held in terms of uh, uh, production and getting equipment out the door and that kind of stuff, not totally surprised uh, that it's dialed back a little bit. But some of those changes, particularly on the standard L, are going to be uh, significant for us. Um, you know, we saw a lot of that model. Um, and I really think some of the special edition stuff here is really neat. And I hope it kind of sets the stage, not just for this 50th anniversary, but for some of the other things that we might see from Kubota in the future. So shopping for a piece of equipment and we can help, or if you have parts of service needs for a machine you've already got, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at Messix.com. Uh, continuing on, uh, not a whole, gee, my phone keeps ringing. Not a whole lot of, uh, ah. Mark, you're going to have to clip that out. Okay. So continuing on, there's... Oh, everything is beeping.